I was wondering, like for weightlifting, they put powder just to have a better grip, right? Yes. So, do you do that also in jujitsu? You put something to have a better grip? Um, not not usually. No, uh -huh. I think also if the opponent complains. I don't know if that's necessarily allowed. Uh -huh. I'll have to check the rule book again. But but you don't usually. No, do. we don't usually. We oh. put tape on our fingers. What for? Because it's very common to get sprains. Oh, injury. You're gripping okay. a lot. Yeah. Um, you know, your finger might get bent. That's very mm -hmm. normal in jujitsu, um, especially at this high level. Oh, okay. So, um, but you don't put anything. No, anything. Okay. not really. You don't need it to. Um, no. Not, not. You don't really need any powder or anything. Mm. Yeah. But I know you're not allowed to put things that make you slippery. Yes, no yes, yes. No lubricants or any oils. Yes. Yeah, those I know are yeah. not allowed. So here, close guard position. I believe it is Thailand on in the bottom and Vietnam on top. So again. Um, Vietnam looking to pass the guard. I remember watching Vietnam fighting Jessa Khan earlier, mm -hmm. and she posed a very yes. big threat to Jessa. She had a really good top game and almost took the fight to the distance. Mm -hmm. So this should be a good bronze medal contest right here. There you have the referee signaling a penalty for stalling. Uh -huh. um, in any inactivity for 10 seconds yes. warrants Did a not penalty. Yes. So in, um, in behalf of the Philippine Jiu-Jitsu team, I want to thank all of the coaches we have, the PSC, yeah. for sponsoring us and sending us to different tournaments, and to all of the members for helping out and preparing all the athletes. And thank for you for games. working so hard for the country too. It's right? our pleasure. You've thank been you. sacrificing your time, right? Your yes. Effort just to just to bring, you know, this medals for the Philippines. And hoping for gold. Yes. <laughs> but we, whatever it is, we're very proud already because all yeah. of our athletes worked hard for this. That's for right? sure, yes. And we win as one. Of so course. it's good to see that that's the motto for this year's SEA Games. So here we have close guard again. Um, you can see the posture of the Vietnamese is being controlled. That's really important. That prevents her from breaking the guard. Mm -hmm. So I would say the, the Thai competitor is in control, control. right now, controlling that posture. And she has more submission attacks. How can you release from that lock? There are several ways. So what you want to do is, what I like to do is, you can stand up and push the, the hips down. Okay. And that's going to force the person on the bottom to open when the, the guard leg. up. Okay. Yes. And then from there, you can push the legs down and progress But it was Vietnam, there. is this Vietnam trying to do? Why isn't she doing that kind of style? What's preventing her from doing that? So the posture. So yeah. what the Thai competitor is doing is pulling her down, oh, okay. and that's bringing so her harder, posture down. Yeah, so yes. it's harder for her to stand up. It's harder for her. She needs to have okay. an upright posture in order to stand. So here she goes. She's okay. standing up. What she can might do is lodge one of her knees into the middle, and that will create a gap. And there's oh, there yeah. she opens the guard right there. You knew her idea, her strategy. <laughs> I that's try what to she do did. that too. It's easier said than done. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, so now what she has to do is clear the legs so that she can get a guard pass. There she goes. Okay. Good, now. Good guard retention though from the Thai competitor, keeping her legs in front and tying her the the Vietnamese mm -hmm. um, her Vietnamese opponent up. So there we go back to close guard position again. So that's a frustrating thing, you know. You can work so hard to get out just yeah. to be get. Put yeah, back in. in yeah. So I think that's when styles and technique come into play as well, not just pure mm -hmm. strength. Oh, that's why she's all, always holding. Yes, her all, social, always holding the lapel, uh, controlling the posture. I thought she was able to. Oh, there we okay, go. Open the guard out of again, it. and they're okay. both in a standing position. Expect more action to come. Expect the Vietnamese to try to take the person, um, the. 
Thai competitor down, and no, the Thai competitor is able to pull guard. One minute and eight seconds to go. We weren't able to see the score. What's the score now in this fight? Um, I believe it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Sorry, I'm Still? not oh. too sure as well, but mm -hmm. I believe it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, I just got word from our team manager that mm -hmm. we have five going for gold and one going for bronze. Yep, that's good news. <laughs> yes, very good news. Yeah, very good news. So shout out to Romeo Aureliano, the team manager. He's also part of the Philippine team, providing me with information <laughs> at the yeah, at the stadium the gymnasium right now. Say hi to Coach Hansel. Yes, I will. <laughs> well, he says hi, by the way. Now what's happening? So now they're back in the close guard again. It's a it's a good attack and timer is out. Time is out. So, Who won this fight? Um, oh, it's... The, the Thai competitor won. Two oh, points two. To, to zero. With the Vietnamese competitor getting an advantage. It's the longest six minutes for a jiu-jitsu wow, athlete, right? Yeah, tiring. After six minutes, I'm huffing and puffing. These girls look fine, though. <laughs> uh, they, oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially, um, there was a time we fought in Mongolia where the altitude was different. Oh, yeah. It was, How do you prepare um, for that kind of weather? Um, we just, we go early. We uh -huh. train a few days in advance, but it's really hard. Um, it's really about getting your conditioning in it's as best as breathe, you can. Right? It is hard to breathe. Some use the mask to uh -huh. simulate the altitude training. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's just try to be the best shape you can yeah. be in. And you just mentioned it's really very tiring after a fight, after six minutes. So are there something that you guys do to be able to recover fast? You know, um, what you don't see behind the scenes yeah. are probably the coaches and teammates helping them out. So they massage their arms. Right Because your muscles are very stiff after. Oh, okay. There's a lot of massaging going on, a lot of icing. Mm -hmm. um, we want to thank, of course, our, the no, Vietnam physical one, therapy. Yes. Okay. Physical therapy for helping us with our recovery and everything. Yes. So that's very important. Very important. After yes. after a fight, you just have